I were to summarize the overall theme of the 57th chapter of Isaiah, I'd say it's a clear call to repentance. I mean, the language is strong. There's a strong description of how God views rebellion and the high cost of a rebellious heart. And as we read it today, I think we would be remiss if we didn't spend time reflecting on the costly nature of sin, how it sabotages the good things in our lives and how much better it truly is to follow and to trust God. But see, following God, it isn't always easy. In fact, it can be very costly and challenging to choose right over wrong, especially in a world that values things that don't align with God's values. But as the last verse in this chapter says, verse 21, there is no peace for the wicked. Ultimately, there is peace for those who follow God, even if their lives are cut short. Look at verses one and two with me. The righteous perish and no one takes it to heart. The devout are taken away and no one understands that the righteous are taken away to be spared from evil. And then in verse two, those, those who walk uprightly enter into peace. They find rest as they lie in death. You see, in a world that values the here and now, life's success can be measured solely by this side of eternity. The righteous may pass with no one even noticing, Isaiah writes, but ultimately, it's the godly whose ultimate end ends in peace. So today, walk with the Lord. It's in godly living that you find peace ultimately.